morning. Today is Friday, September the 22nd. The time right now in Singapore is 11.49 in the morning. And overnight, we have quite a bit of move in equity markets. Uh, basically, the major news was uh, Bank of England holding interest rates unchanged. Uh, this is totally unexpected because the market was expecting them to raise interest rate by 25 basis point to match the Federal Reserve interest rates at 5.5%. So right now, the UK interest rate right now is a quarter point below the US rates. And this is uh, on the back of... Uh, a climb down in inflation as far as the latest number is concerned. And uh, this is definitely setting the stage for higher, for longer scenario across all major central banks across the G7 space. Now, we have um, major uh, interest rates decision by central banks uh, since uh, last week. We have ECB uh, moving interest rates to 4%, which is the highest it have ever been since the launch of the euro as a currency. And then this week, we have uh, the Federal Reserve holding interest rates unchanged at 5.5% with more to come. And then we have uh, Bank of England yesterday holding interest rates at uh, 5.125%. Uh, and of course, this morning, we have the Bank of Japan holding interest rates unchanged as well. So we have a series of central bank decisions all pointing to keeping interest rates status quo at the way it is, except for the ECB, which actually high interest rates by a quarter point. So we can see the uh, equity markets did not react very uh, uh, agreeably to this uh, stand. You can see equity prices has been coming down. And uh, this morning, we have a bit of a uptick, but basically I think the trend for at least for now suggests that we're going to see lower prices going forward. Uh, in the e e uh, micro e-mini uh, futures contract, you can see that the Dow, the Dow uh, likely to actually extend lower to test the 34,062 that we saw uh, in most recent days. You can see that the market have a band of prices at 33,800 to 34,160 levels. That area seems to be a sensitive area in which I think buyers may actually re-emerge. So at least for now, we should be be looking for further losses. Uh, upside, we have 34,630 to 34,700 uh, as the uh, as the barrier to higher prices. So between these two level of prices right now, the price is right in between these two barriers. We will have to see uh, if, th if there's going to be any rebound, whether this 34,600 to 34,700 can cap any rally attempt before the market comes back down. And if this if this week close on a weak note, especially if it closes on the lowest point uh, for the entire week, then it will be setting the stage for further losses going into next week. And in the S&P 500, similarly, we use the micro e-mini S&P 500 as a guide. We can see prices has already dipped into this bracket of prices at 4,350 to 4,380, which is Earlier on, uh, in previous update, I actually mentioned this area can actually be a support area. So let's see whether that we can get a bounce going forward into New York session. Uh, upside is about 4,430 to 4,440 levels within this about roughly 10 point range. The market may actually uh, find heavy going before it comes back down again. And over in the NASDAQ 100, we can see the NASDAQ has not quite hit its real target, which is currently at the 14,600 to 14,800 levels. Uh, so we see a bit of a bounce overnight. We can see that the low trader was of 14,838.5. So we have uh, basically a bounce coming up. And if this bounce can sustain all the way to 15,080 to 15,100, I think that will be a barrier to higher prices before prices comes back down. Okay, over in Hong Kong, we can see a bit of a rebound going on and this rebound is getting a little bit aggressive. This morning, we see a price actually traded below 17,500, uh, almost 500 at a low of 17,514. We see this current rally here. So I'm not sure what is the news that caused this market to move up at the moment in time, but upside will be quite limited. Uh, I, in my opinion, 18,400 uh, 18, is going to be a big barrier to actually go over uh, between 18,400 to 18,600. I think the barrier will be heavy going. I do expect to see some kind of selling interest re-emerging. In the Nikkei itself, we see the same thing. Okay, Nikkei actually has a bump up uh, prices uh, from low of 31,940 and prices has rallied up to a intraday high so far at 32,290 in the Nikkei futures. Top side, there is going to be resistance at 32,350 to 32,450 levels. Do watch out for this as well. And uh, let's see, in currency markets, we can see that the dollar remains very well beat. Uh, we have a high at 105.44 uh, uh, recently. And you can see that this bracket of prices is likely to invite some kind of profit taking. In fact, yesterday we see a bearish engulfing bar 
after the 105.44 has been traded. So we can see that this is beginning to show us that people are taking profit as the index goes higher. So if the price goes back into this range of prices, 105. 35 to 105 90 levels we can expect more selling pressure to emerge okay and over in euro dollars euro dollars has basically uh seems to be stabilizing the low traded overnight was a uh, 106.17 and this is not quite the target that i think it's capable of doing i think there's a good chance market will go into the sub 0.6 uh, levels and i think this is where the, the real support is likely to be uh, concentrated the rush towards upside i think will be quite uh, limited to 107.50 uh, to 107.70 levels sterling uh, despite uh, the Bank of England holding interest rate unchanged, there was a bit of movement downwards yesterday. Market actually went down to 122.37 before we see a bit of a bounce. Uh, I think there's still a little bit more downside to have uh, to go for the sterling. I think the market has the potential to go down uh, to the 122 levels, which is not that far away. So do watch out for some kind of support to emerge about 121.70 to 122 levels. Over in the Aussie market, we can see Aussie has a big day yesterday. Uh, it went up all the way to 0 0.65, slammed down all the way down to uh, 0 0.6385. So that was a bit of a move. And right now we have a bit of a bounce. I think the prices is for the time being is going to be between this range, these two, these two barrier here between the low end at 0 0.6360 uh, to 0 0.6535. So between these two levels of ranges, the market is likely to uh, be consolidating for a while. Now, dollar yen seems to come under a bit of a selling pressure yesterday from 148.46, uh, well within this breakout of prices about 148.40 to 148.85, which I believe uh, where the selling interest may actually emerge. This morning, we have a bit of a rally attempt going on. We will see whether this amount to anything. But anyway, if the market goes back into this bracket of prices between 148.5 to 148.85, I think the sellers may actually re-emerge because the market is really nervous about a bank intervention. Right now, the Bank of Japan is actually talking to the US Treasury and I think they're trying to get some kind of understanding from the Americans that if they do intervene, uh, would that be a concerted effort? Uh, so they, I think they are trying to coordinate their intervention attempt so there is the risk of intervention going on in the dollar yen so be very careful chasing this uh, currency pair any higher than what we are seeing today okay in dollar canadian we have a bit of a volatility going on we have a three wave bound from 133.80 all the way to the high of 135.25 okay so between this level of prices prices may actually drift a little bit lower but we can see overall dollar remains very very firm so there is that possibility market may actually go attempt to go even higher at 135.70 to 135.90 levels. So again, there is the possibility market may actually attempt a much higher level of band uh, in this uh, uh, price action here. And over in the crude oil, we can see crude oil uh, actually has came down from $92.43 in the WTI, went up to as low as uh, $88.37. And this was actually not surprising because I was expecting price to go into this bracket of prices anyway, between $88.29 to $89.37. So we get a, get a bit of a bounce. And you can see the bounce yesterday, the highest point was $90.98. And this is just a touch below this bracket of prices at $91 to $93.74. But anyway, uh, we should be looking to trade uh, at least for the time being uh, some kind of corrective pullback. I think the market has the potential to go back and test $86 at some point in time. So I'll be definitely be very keen to look at buying if the prices ever come back to $85 or $86. Okay. Over in precious metals, we can see that precious metal actually unraveled yesterday from a high of $1,947.40 all the way to a low at $1,913. We have a bit of a bounce right now. So this area right now where we price is currently trading at $1,923.90 is within a bracket of prices which I think may actually encourage a profit taking to actually re-emerge again. The level is $1,923.40 to $1,930.50. So between this roughly $6 to $7 range, the seller may actually emerge taking prices back to retest the $1,900. Over in silver, we can see silver prices remains elevated despite a pullback uh, to the lower end of this bracket, which I thought uh, prices is going to hold. The bracket was $22.84 to $22.96. The low yesterday was $22.81. So it was a touch lower than what I expected, but prices has gone back into this bracket of prices at $23.47 to $23.60. So I think there is going to be a barrier to overcome. If the market can actually overcome this barrier above 
$26.60, it may go all the way to challenge the $24.90 perhaps into the uh, lower end of $25. So let's see what happens in the silver market. By a large, I think it is a buy. Uh, the thing is that what level do we buy? Okay. Over in Bitcoin, we can see Bitcoin actually pulled back from a high of $27,500 $27, thereabout. And it's currently traded into the immediate support uh, somewhere between $26,256 to $26,550. So there's a good chance it will hold, okay? Uh, I think the market will eventually take out the 28,176 high that we saw earlier on last week. So this is all I have for you for, the, for today. Uh, in the meantime, you take care and have a great weekend, okay? I'll see you back on Monday morning. Bye-bye. Take care.